but we so often end up in the same workspace mentality, don't we? That we are going to, we're going to fight and we're going to strive and we're going to struggle and we're going to work really, really, really hard and we're gonna get right with God or we're gonna work really, really, really hard and that problem we're facing will just disappear. We're gonna figure everything out and we're gonna solve all of our life's problems and, and then maybe we can fit God into our lives. God is saying that we have it backwards. Invite God in. Revelation 3.20 says, look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. God is saying, I am here, invite me in. Imagine for a moment, God is knocking at the door of your life. And, and you open the door and God says, hey, how are you? Can I come in and help out? And, and, and we immediately recoil. Because we're like, God, you, you, you can't come in here because it's a mess, okay? It is an absolute mess. I can't, listen, here's what I'm gonna do. You just, you, you go over there and I'm gonna work really, really hard and I'm gonna clean up all of this and this will be spotless and then you, you can come on in, okay? You just go over there and God's like, okay. And then God comes back and says, hey, are you okay? You seem really stressed out. I just wanna come in and help. We're, God, no, I, I can't let you into this. You're, you're too good for this. This is, this is my mess, I'll clean it up. But God is standing there saying, Child, you're working too hard. Child, you're trying too hard. You're striving too hard. You see, you're trying to handle what you were never meant to handle all on your own. You see, you were created for a purpose. You see, I come in and I clean up and I rebuild and I bring light into dark situations. You are loved and I'm here on your side. Child, you're talking about rebuilding things. I rebuild lives. I rebuild souls. I am a carpenter. It is what I do. We are trying to keep God out of our dark situations. That we are trying to keep God out of our mess and that's where he wants into the most. He says, child, invite me in. The situation that you're in, it's not too deep for me. It's not too dirty for me. I came to earth to get in the dirt. I laid on the cross and I took the sins of the world on me. Your dirt is not too big for me. You don't have to clean it up on your own. You don't have to fight it on your own. You don't have to bear that weight on your own because my burden is light and my weight is easy. God is saying to you, invite him in. And it's powerful that he came to the Gentiles because the Gentiles are anyone who was not Jewish. They were thought of as unclean. They were thought of as dirty, as wretched. Someone that God would want nothing to do with. But he comes in and who does Jesus go to? He, he goes to the Gentiles. He comes to the people that were unclean, that were dirty, that did not deserve Jesus in their lives. That's who God came to. So wherever you are, whatever you're facing, and however low you think you are, know that you are not outside the love of God. That God came for you. And that mess that you think you've got to clean up on your own, he wants in the middle of it. He's not waiting for you to clean up your act and he's not waiting for you to come to church and he's not waiting for you to read enough of your Bible and to cover up your tattoos. He wants to come to you where you are. That is the God that we serve. And that's what makes him greater than any other idea that anyone else has is because he's a God that did not come to get things from us to, but to bring things to us. That he came to put himself beneath his own creation so that he could hang on a cross and pay the ultimate debt for sin and death. That is the God we serve. And what Paul is trying to say to these Jewish followers is stop. Quit trying to earn your way to God. Put your faith and your trust in Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And wherever you are, you are not too far gone. He came for you where you are. That's the big picture. When we focus on the details, we may miss that God is calling you where you are and who you are. That when you look in the mirror and you pick out all of your flaws and the enemy is sitting there whispering in your ear that you are useless and that you are worthless and that there is nothing that you have a purpose for. God is sitting there screaming back, tell that enemy to shut his mouth because I am the God that will crush his head beneath my foot. I am the God of all creation and have I called you and I have set you apart, that you are loved, you are redeemed, that you are sanctified, you are justified in me. That enemy has nothing else to say. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. Wherever you are, whatever you're facing, hold your head high. This world will not defeat you because he has overcome the world.
You are loved. You are chosen.